everybody. Good morning. It's Kelly here with Eat Plants with Kelly. I realized that by the time you see this, it is probably not morning, but it's morning time when I am filming this. So good morning, everybody. I'm coming to you drinking my smoothie this morning. This just has apples, bananas, and mangoes, and as well as probably about a cup of soy milk in there. Um, but I wanted to come to you today and give you my Thursday tip number 40, and that is that it is worth it. Following the whole food plant-based lifestyle, if you are looking to lose weight, it is totally worth it. It may seem extreme, um, but so is having like cardiac open heart surgery um that's majorly extreme and um also having gastric bypass surgery is kind of extreme um when there are other ways to uh, lose weight um, by diet and having a healthy lifestyle um, but also uh, people ask me all the time how do you stay motivated what is your motivation um, i don't know how you stay motivated enough to do this um, and the results that is the only motivation that I need the results that I have gotten is the only motivation that I need to keep going um, so in 2015 September 2015 I had a sleep test or sleep study overnight in a facility um, they can do home sleep tests but um, they cannot rule out sleep apnea. They only tell you if you have it. Um, so I was scheduled to do one in the sleep lab. And if you've ever had a sleep test, you have all of these different things, different wires um, stuck to you all over your head. Um, you've got some on your chest and you've got some on your legs. You even have one on your finger to monitor your um, oxygen level at night. So if you're having difficulty sleeping, this adds to your difficulty sleeping because you have all this stuff attached to you. So a sleep test um, will tell you whether or not you have uh, sleep apnea. And if you don't know what sleep apnea is, that is where you stop breathing at night, um, which can be very dangerous. So um, I had not been sleeping very well and I was, you know, over 300 pounds at this point. Um, so the doctor sent me for a sleep test and, um, I was very anxious anyways, um, because I, you know, had all this stuff attached to me and wasn't sleeping well anyways. So that night proved to be no different. And I probably got maybe two to three hours of sleep total for the entire night. I had to work the next day and, uh, went to work pretty sleepy because I hadn't gotten any sleep the night before. So... Um, I had to wait a week for the results and when I went back for the results the next week, um, the doctor said, well, you, yes, you do have sleep apnea. Um, in fact, it is pretty severe. You stopped breathing anywhere between 60 to 70 times an hour. That is like majorly concerning 60 to 70 times an hour that I stopped breathing. Um, that's like super red flag. So I actually had to have a CPAP machine, continuous positive airway pressure, I think is what it stands for. Um, but I actually wore the nose pillars, pillows um, at night and not the face mask. That, so that was much easier. So I did that for about four and a half years. Several months ago, probably eight, eight or nine months ago or so, I just felt like I couldn't sleep with the CPAP machine on anymore. Like it was keeping me awake. It was too much pressure. I felt like I didn't need it. So I said, okay, I'm just going to try to sleep without it and see how I do. Um, so I slept really well, woke up, felt refreshed um, without the machine. And so when I had my follow-up a couple, mm, I think it was last month, um, I told the doctor that I had not been using it and I didn't feel like I needed it anymore and I woke up refreshed. I wasn't taking naps like I used to. Um, I wasn't getting tired, sleepy, not using caffeine, none of that stuff. So he said, okay, let's go ahead and redo your sleep test. You've lost a significant amount of weight. Um, so let's redo your sleep test and see if you still have sleep apnea. 
So, um, I went back last Tuesday night and had that sleep test. I'll throw up a picture for you so you can see all the wires attached to my head and everything. Um, but so I went back and had the sleep test and, um, I slept really well. Like it was a complete night and day difference between the sleep study in 2015 and the sleep study I had last week. It was completely different. Um, I woke up, I felt refreshed, everything was good. And so I was hoping for good results. So I went back to the doctor this week for my results because you have to wait a week in between because um, they want to have time to read the test and interpret all the findings and all of that. And so I was hoping for really good results. So when, when I went back this past Tuesday to the doctor to get the results, he said, I'm having a conversation that I don't get to have very often. He said, your sleep apnea is gone. It's completely gone. Um, you, your oxygen level got down to 92% at one point, but that's normal or average for, you know, the average person and your apneic episodes, which is where you stop breathing, uh, per hour is down to 4.8 and average is less than five. Um, and he said these numbers are actually probably a little bit inflated because you have difficulty going to sleep a little bit in the beginning. Um, which is true. <laughs> um, but he said, so they're actually a little bit inflated. So they're actually probably not that high, um, at 4.8. So, but your sleep apnea is completely gone. You don't need to come see us anymore unless you start having difficulty again. So I say all that to say that yes, anything, whatever you have to do to follow this whole food plant-based lifestyle, it is totally worth it. Um, once you start getting results, that's all the motivation that you need to keep going. So your weight loss, um, if you get to come off medications like blood pressure medications and all of that, it is totally worth it. My blood pressure now, um, it was 118 over 60 on t uh, Wednesday. Uh, that is really good. That is actually below average. My resting heart rate is in the low 50s. It used to be in the 80s to 90s. Um, that showing that I am getting more fit by being more active and all of that. Um, I have also lost another two pounds. So I've now lost a total of 88 pounds following the whole food plant-based lifestyle. Um, and a total of, I guess, a hundred and, I don't know, close to 160 pounds, uh, total from my highest weight ever. Um, but some of that, about 60 pounds of that was lost without, uh, following the whole food plant-based lifestyle. But the whole food plant-based lifestyle has really accel accelerated my weight loss and done so much for me. So I come to you today to tell you if you're struggling, it is worth it. Whatever you have to do to get on track and lose the weight, it is worth it. Um, I'm so excited that I no longer have sleep apnea. I no longer have to worry about carrying around a machine if we go on vacation or go out of town or whatever. I don't have to carry around a machine. I don't have to worry about it. Um, I can sleep. I feel refreshed. So that's my Thursday tip number 40 this week is that it is worth it and you are worth it. So until I come to you with a recipe or another great video, I um, hope that you are eating plants with me, Kelly. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.